everyone today i will tell you about the heat zones of the earth the sun which is at the center of the solar system is the source of heat for all the planets the amount of heat received by a place helps to decide the temperature of that place the heat earth receives from the sun is not uniformly distributed over the surface of the earth that is why some places are hot and some other places are cold first i will tell you why there are differences in the distribution of temperature or heat over the surface of the earth the major reasons behind this are angle of the sun's rays shape of the earth and the tilted axis of the earth as we know the earth is a huge planet it is spherical in shape but flattened at the poles and slightly bulging at the equator so the earth has a larger circumference at the equator naturally all places on the earth do not receive the same amount of heat from the sun let me tell you this concept in simple words jaisa ki hum dopahar ke samay dekhte hain ki temperature zyada hota hai aisa isliye kyunki sun ki rays ekdam vertical ya seedhi hoti hain jabki subah aur sham ke samay temperature kam hota hai kyunki sun ki rays slanting ya phir teedhi hoti hain i am giving you one more example to understand this concept look at the light coming from the torch which is falling on a piece of cardboard placed in front of the torch you can see the torch light is falling on a particular surface is bright and covers a smaller area now if you place the cardboard in slanting position you will notice that torch light is falling on the surface is less bright and covers a larger area same happens when the rays of the sun fall on the earth based on the heat received by the sun the earth is divided into different heat zones the torrid zone the temperate zone and the frigid zone let me tell you about torrid zone the region lies between tropic of cancer 23 and 1/2 degree north and tropic of capricorn 23 and 1/2 degree south is known as the torrid zone here the rays of the sun fall straight through major part of the year hence this region forms the hottest part of the earth here summers are extremely hot and even winters are warm the temperate zone receives slanting rays of the sun so this region receives lesser amount of heat as compared to the torrid zone the north temperate zone lies between the tropic of cancer and the arctic circle and the south temperate zone lies between the tropic of capricorn and the antarctic circle temperate zone experiences warm summers and cold winters in frigid zone the rays of the sun fall extremely slanting which do not bring much heat to this zone the north frigid zone lies between the arctic circle and the north pole while the south frigid zone lies between the antarctic circle and the south pole so the regions of frigid zone are the coldest and remain frozen for most part of the year thus the heat zones located on the globe as torrid zone 23 and 1/2 degree north to 0 degree to 23 and 1/2 degree south temperate zone 23 and 1/2 degree north to 66 and 1/2 degree north and 23 and 1/2 degree south to 66 and 1/2 degree south 
frigid zones 66 and half degree north to the north pole and 66 and half degree south to the south pole i hope that this video will help you to understand heat zones of the earth thank you everyone